Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at their Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit Ultrasonic Sensor. Now the Ultrasonic Sensor is great for all types of projects that need distance measurements. Now the HC-SR04 is inexpensive and easy to use. We will be sending signals directly to the sensor and interpreting the results without the need for a library. Now Ultrasonic Sensor Module provides 2 centimeters to 400 centimeters non-contact measurement function. The accuracy can be up to three millimeters. Now the modules include ultrasonic transmitters, receivers, and control circuitries all in the one unit. Now we will be wiring this our ultrasonic sensor to our Arduino Uno R3 controller on our Super Starter Kit. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other video videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now the ultrasonic sensor contains uh, transmitters and control circuits as we said before all in the one unit. And the ultrasonic sensor will send out sound and wait for the return of this sound. If an object is in the way the sound will bounce off it and back to the sensor. And the time of the return sound will determine the distance. So basically here's my sensor here and we're transmitting sound out and then we get sound coming back. So our sound distance is actually two times that. So if we actually look at some of the calculations, the speed of sound is 343 meters per second, which is 0 0.343 millimeters per microsecond. And remember that one second is equal to uh, one uh, million microseconds and one meter is 1000 millimeters or 100 centimeters. So I'll just give you a reference there. So our time is actually equal to distance divided by speed. So in our case here our speed is 0 0.343 millimeters per microsecond. So the distance in millimeters in our formula will be distance millimeters is equal to time in microseconds times 0 0.343. But since the sound is going to and from the object or twice, we actually take that distance of millimeters. It's actually equal to time in microseconds times 0 0.343 divided by two. That will give us our actual distance itself. Now the timing chart is right here. It will show us the general method of, of how the HC-SR04 module will work. So when, we, when the trigger pin is set high for 10 microseconds, that's here right here, this will send out eight sonic sound bursts, which are right here. And this sound will travel at the speed of sound to the object and back again. And then the echo pin will output time in microseconds that the sound wave traveled. So that internal circuit to that unit will actually take care of all that other calculation that we need in there. So the next thing we'll do is take a look at the actual wiring that we have of our circuit. So if we call up our actual hardware, which we have right here, you will see that we have our Elegoo um, unit located right here and we have our ultrasonic sensor located right here and you'll see we have a sender receiver module here and the actual wiring this is a 5 volt uh, supply that we're supplying to our ultrasonic sensor and we have the ground so there's the two pins there the other two pins are our uh, trigger and our echo so the trigger is is my output going to it, giving me my 10 microsecond. And then my echo is my input listening, saying how long that pulse will be on for. So that is our actual wiring itself. So let's take a look at the actual program. And in the program, you can see the first thing we do is define our echo pin one or pin 11, which is our uh, echo. And then we have define our trigger pin which is the one that we put on for 10 microseconds. 
Then we do our setup. So we trigger our trigger pin is output and echo pin is our input. We also set up our serial uh, communication at 9600 baud. And we print uh, what our ultrasonic sensor is. And we print with the Arduino Uno R3. So the actual loop itself that we actually continuously monitor here, we're gonna write a low first of all, and we're gonna delay that two microseconds. Then what we do is we set our trigger pin high. We delay for 10 microseconds to give us that start signal for the sensor to actually send out those microbursts. Then what we do is we, we then write the trigger pin low. Then what we do is we take a duration and we start looking at the pulse in. And this will, when the pulse in is high or the echo pin is high, how long that will be coming in for. That's our duration and that will be in microseconds. Then what we can do is calculate the distance. And in distance in our case, again, it's gonna be back to that same formula. So our distance is gonna be the duration, which we just measured with the pulse in instruction, times 0.343 divided by two. And that's going to give us the speed of sound divided by two because we have to go back and forth. And then we're going to display the distance on our serial monitor. So we're going to say distance, and then we're going to put in uh, the actual value of distance, then we're going to say millimeters. And then we're going to delay one second, and then we're going to repeat this again, and again take another reading. So every second we're going to take these different readings. So what we'll do is upload this to the actual controller. And once we've uploaded that, there we go, upload's done. We will call up our serial monitor. And you can see here that we're now measuring. And we are looking at about 80, 80 point, or 81, 80 millimeters for our object. And what we'll do is move that object down here. And now we're about 60, 68, 69 millimeters. And again, we can move it further. And as you can see now, we're about 36, 37 millimeters. So very, very easy to implement this whole uh, ultrasonic within our Arduino Uno uh, Super Starter Kit. So anywhere in between there, we can see how the distance now changes. And we're around the uh, 58, 59 millimeters right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.